Greetings, everyone. The last hurdle, the last piece of equipment that I needed to complete my system, I found one. The power amplifier for transmitting a few watts. I got it for free, for the cost of shipping, of course, but otherwise free from a ham friend, and I'll keep his name anonymous, but he was generous enough to give me this amplifier. It's a 3 watt, uh, 10 gigahertz amplifier. It came from an Alcatel MDR6000 microwave point-to-point -point radio system. So high data rate point-to-point -point systems. And of course, optical fiber uh, has taken a lot of bandwidth lately. So those systems were taken down and he had a few of these. So he sent me one. He also included the uh, power supply that was in the system to accompany the uh, power amplifier. I'm not going to be using it in my system, but for testing the amplifier, it's, it's perfect. It's a multi-output voltage, but the only two voltages that are required are plus 10.5 volts DC and minus 5 volts. Uh, the currents are 2.1 amps at 10.5, and just milliamps at minus 5 volts. So the minus 5 can be easily produced with a uh, inverter supply, like such as uh, this thing, which you feed it plus 5 and it gives you minus 5. That's one way of doing it. For the plus 10.5, uh, I have already ordered a buck boost converter board, which will be easily able to deliver uh, 2.1 amps uh, required by this thing. This is a class A amplifier, so it, when you turn it on, it draws the full power whether you feed it RF or not. So this thing will get shut off in receive and power it up in transmit. Okay, so what's the performance? Well, it's pretty good uh, for my system because uh, feeding it with minus 6 dBm coming from the W1GHZ transverter is enough to make it throughout 3 watts. So 3 watts is the really the maximum it can put out. Uh, for 3 watts it's no longer really linear, but um, at least 2 watts easy in a linear fashion. Uh, and uh, it's less than 0 dBm, which, if you recall, maybe a little bit more than 0 dBm was uh, put out by uh, the transverter board. So here I need minus 6. So there's a gain adjust right here, and I turned it down, because I tried it, yes. I turned it down to make it put out 3 watts with the transverter. So that saves me an extra amplifying stage between the transverter board and the amplifier. Cool, very cool. So there's plenty of gain. I have added an LED uh, that shows when the plus 10.5 is fed to the thing, so it, in transmit. It's got a RF monitor output. So if I ever want to have a meter, a needle, or any anything that shows the amount of RF power that's produced, I can put a detector here, so it's a tap. I tried it, and with a um, RF detector, uh, SMA type RF detector that provides DC, I could get two to three hundred millivolts out DC out of this uh, detector. So it's sufficient to drive a, a circuit if I want to have a power monitoring circuit or something like that. So that's another good feature. What else is there to say? Well, this is heavy, right? It's almost 4 pounds. It's actually 1.7 kilograms. Uh, so not light, definitely not. It's got this uh, thick, heavy aluminum uh, plate to dissipate the heat. And I can tell you, I've ran it for several minutes and I could barely feel some warmth on the the plate so this thing doesn't need for amateur radio duty cycle doesn't need a heat sink but it'll get bolted down to the dish uh, back compartment anyway which is an aluminum plate as well so 
dissipation is not going to be a problem for the type of uh, service we uh, put it. Of course, in a system that was always on a uh, microwave system point to point, uh, it needed extra cooling. And I'm pretty sure there was a big blower uh, cooling down this thing and there was a big heat sink on the back. But, but for ham radio, not going to be a problem at all. So the dimensions of the box I tried and it fits well inside the rear compartment of the dish. Of course it will take a lot of space but there's plenty of room which I'm going to show you in a future video no problem. Now on the next video something completely non-related it's going to be the IF transfer relay and attenuator combined into a single box. So I created that little box that's going to be on the 144 megahertz and in the transmit mode you need to attenuate the watts of power coming out of the 2 meter transceiver uh, down to milliwatts. So it's an attenuator and it's got relays to switch in receive you need to remove the attenuator to get the full power out to the receiver. So uh, the, uh, this transfer switch slash attenuator I'll detail this in one of the next videos. Until then, 7-3!